Hey, yo, what's decent? Yo, I got another exhilarating battle I want to showcase to you guys. Let's get this going. I start off with Haunter. Now, this thing I really wanted to use so bad. And for the last bit, I took off Sludge Bomb, and I'm like really regretting it here. So now my opponent responds with Tap of Finny. He goes for the Taunt. He knows I'm not switching out. And I'm like, yo, I could have just like, what if I just had the Sludge Bomb? And you, well, he wouldn't be poisoned because he has the Misty Surge up in the field right now. But... What if, you know, just scout to see if I do happen to have that? But I guess he didn't do that. And he goes to the surf now. It's not really much I can do. I mean, after all, I guess it's because it's a haunter. He could probably take it. He's more so special defensive. I guess is what I'm gathering of his confidence of why he's deciding to stay in with the top of Finny. And I'm like, yo, he's just not switching out. But I guess it works for him in, the, in this case scenario because now he's actually able to knock out the Haunter. In comes Beedrill. I'm pretty sure that he's going to switch out. I go for the Mega Evolution. I don't see a switch out. And I'm like, yo, where's my switch out, man? I go for the U-turn and I'm like, yo, I'm adaptability, dude. Like, I could just go for the Poison Jab and knock you out, you know? But I, I guess no, it's, even, it's even happening. He responds with the Surf. Now, it's not going to finish off the Tyranitar because Tyranitar is special defensive in this case scenario. But I do happen to have the T-Ball so I could inflict some super effective damage even though it's not going to be too much because it doesn't really get stabbed or anything like that like but at the same time i can deal some more damage to the point where i feel almost confident that the beedrill can knock it out with a poison jab and or i could actually fake out tapa lele being either scarf or specs more so scarf if i get it down to a point where the um psychic would actually be able to knock it out and actually helps that the psychic terrain actually dissipated that turn hence why i could switch back in after tyranitar dies right now which it just did and then go for the psychic knowing that if he decides to stay in with the type of Finny, that it would actually knock it out and that's exactly what's going to happen he's going to stay in there. i'm like yo you have mega metagross in the back like <laughs> Hello? I don't understand. But whatever it was, it's, it's working. I mean, he knocked out two Pokemon there. So now in comes Zerkatree, and I'm like, yo, why would you bring in Zerkatree to a Tapa Lily? That's what I was going through in my mind. So I'm like, yo, he probably thinks that I'm Specs or something, or he's probably Scarf. So because he was Scarf, it would be an obvious switch into switching into the Rhyperior. So that's why I stayed in for that particular turn. And I thought that he was going to go for the Energy Ball, be able to survive that and retaliate back with the Psychic, but that doesn't even happen. So now... In comes Mimikyu. Understand, guys, I cannot go for the base rock type attack that I did have. It happened to have rock record. I don't want to be immobilized for a, a particular turn. Now, understand that I do have rock record because there's a Z move behind it. So I wanted to get as much damage output as possible behind it and then go for the rock record for some more damage in the, in the beginning. So that doesn't happen. And he shows me the Twinkle Tackle. And I knew that he wasn't going to go for the Shadow Seek that particular turn. So I was actually able to knock it out with the Poison Jab there. So now in comes Volcanion. And despite whatever it wants to do to me, Skeleto is cool. I really wish I was like Specs or something like that. I could have just like knocked this thing out. But he does happen to have Marowak in the back. So I take a chance, go for the Hydro Punch just in case that thing wanted to come in because Volcanion can actually come in back in for a little bit later on. But that doesn't happen. But it doesn't even matter in this case scenario because he comes my Mega Beedrill and I could actually knock it out anyway, despite whether he decided to stay in or not. So, Beedrill gets a KO. In comes Mega Metagross. I know he has Bullet Punch. I think he has Bullet Punch. Everything in my being said, man, this guy has Bullet Punch. But I decide to do the opposite of my gut, and I actually stayed in. But that's okay, because he has Scarf Circuitry, which is why he's not even worried about it. So, I retaliate back with the Metal Burst. I'm actually able to knock out the Mega Metagross, but... Like I said, that doesn't matter. He has a circuitry and he has an energy ball. So that was a great game. If you guys had a lot of fun watching this video, do me a favor, drop a like. And if you guys want to see more content like this in the future, please subscribe to me. It is awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Peace. What you doing?